I'm out here training the Kali staff and I figured, you know what, let me go ahead and share this drill that I've been working on with you so that way you can learn and train the staff right along with me. Grab a staff, learn this drill, train it, practice it, master it. Let's go. Right hand, grab, palm up. Left hand, grab, palm down. And we have a little bit more of the staff out on the right side, which is gonna be the front of the staff, and a little less on the left hand side, the back of the staff. We have four movements in this drill. We're gonna start off with what's called the sweep block right here. Then we're gonna come downward on the vertical smash. We're gonna rip upwards and then thrust right there. So sweep block, smash on the vertical, rip it up, and then thrust. So when we're doing our sweep block, we're using the thumb side, so like the back side of the staff here, and just go in front and past the knee. Now we have a couple of different footworks that we can work, because we wanna make sure we are protecting the leg. The first footwork is we could pull the leg back and keep it connected to the ground. Then we pump that leg, generate some momentum while we come into that vertical smash, rip it up and thrust. So that's the first option. The second option is that we can lift the leg right here, drop that vertical, rip it up and thrust. So lift it, drop it, rip it and thrust it. That's our second option. The third option is that we can cross step behind with that lead foot right here. Then come back in, smash, rip, and thrust. Let's look at that cross step again. Cross step behind, smash, rip, and thrust. All right, so let's rep this out three times on each of these protective footwork methods on that lead leg. So we have the first one. One, pop, pop, boom. Go slow in the beginning. Two, three, all right, and let's go into the second one where we lift the leg. One, two, and three. And then the third technique on that lead leg, the cross step. One, two, three, right there. And so feel free to explore those movements. And uh, each one has their, you know, has their place where if the attack's not coming in too deep, we might be able to just kind of slide that leg back. If the attack's coming in really quick, we might have to just lift it up really fast, kind of more, you know, a little bit more reactive. And if there's a lot of pressure with that attack coming in, you're gonna see that the cross step displaces my whole body more. So we have different techniques with the footwork for different types of situations. Okay, so from here, we can mix it up. Boom, in our training, start to generate a little bit of free flow between those techniques. And it adds for a great workout. Now we're gonna train the exact same drill, but to the rear. Slide the staff up, boom, pop that thrust behind. Same exact movements, we have the sweep block, the smash, the vertical smash, rip and thrust. And check out the footwork, exactly the same techniques. We can slide the leg in on the sweep block, boom. We can lift the leg. Or we can cross step behind to create even more distance, not just with the leg, but with the full body right there. Then we can slide the staff again and repeat the drill back to the front side. Slide it, repeat it back to the back side. This is a great drill that does a great job at building the agility in the body, the ability to quickly change directions while we are applying not only the staff fighting techniques, but also footwork. Don't be one of those people that just moves the weapon and does nothing with their feet. We have to be able to incorporate both the footwork 
and the weapon movement. That is the complete skill of Kali. All right, it's all you now. Get out there, go train, have fun, and let me know down in the comments when you've got it. Oof. <laughs>